So now let's work around with the sound settings inside of Microsoft Windows 10. So to work around with the sound settings, you can go on to this right icon right over here. Or if you don't see this icon, you can go to your start menu onto the settings. And then from the setting, you can set for sound and you can access sound settings from right over here as well. But we're going to close this and focus on this one right uh, here. So if you had to go to the sound settings right here, if I were to right click, you can see that there's a few settings right here. But if I were to just click it, you'll be able to access the volume. So you can uh, adjust your master volume of your computer from right over here. You can also right click over here and open up sound settings and that actually opens up the sound settings itself. Let me just close this out for a while. Let me just right click and see the other settings. The first setting you have is the volume mixer. So this lets you control the overall mixer. This is a uh, device so you can actually mute out the sound over here that is muting out the overall sound or disable the mute. You can increase the volume of the overall device as you can see or you can increase and decrease the volume of individual applications right over here as well. So you can actually go over here, increase and decrease the, app, um, the sound of uh, system sounds right over here. Or what you can do is you can increase and decrease the volume of uh, the, uh, this application as here as well. So you can actually individually control the application. You can right click and there's spatial sound as well. So if you want to do a sound effect like thing, if your speaker uh, should should actually use something like Sonic for headphones that actually is an enhancing sound effect. If you want to do that, you can turn that on as well. And if you have problem with sound, you can actually troubleshoot for sound problem and it'll try to detect the problems. And in my case, I just canceled it because I do not have any sound problem. But if you have any sound problem, maybe your speakers are not working or your microphone is not working, you might want to troubleshoot it out so that it tries to figure it out in the best way it can. So now let's uh, actually go into sound settings itself and see what options do we have over here. So here you have uh, an option to choose the output device as you can see. So I have multiple output devices. It is not actually showing over here because they are disabled and we're going to see how to work around with them in a while. So you can also go over here, go into device properties and you can disable it or enable the special sound if you wish to. Let me just go back. Here's the master volume. It's the same uh, volume settings that you actually saw over here. So you can actually increase or decrease uh, the sound right over here. Or if, it is, if the speaker is not working, you can troubleshoot and you get the same option as you actually use the troubleshoot settings right here. You can also manage different sound devices. I have a lot as you can see. So depending on uh, the number of sound, uh, input devices you may have, you might get the options right over here as well. So these are the op output devices. You can test them out. So in my case, it's the USB sound device. If I were to test it out, you can see that sound actually comes up from it just like that. That's the input. So right now I'm using my USB sound line input right here. And this is what you can hear on my microphone. You can also troubleshoot it out if your microphone is not working or you can go to manage sound devices and then work around with the input devices accordingly. So you can go over here and then enable the microphone and so forth. Right now everything is disabled. Only my line input is enabled right here. I do not want to disable it right now because it will disrupt the recording. So now uh, if you go to advanced sound settings right over here, you can see that you can control individual applications and you can uh, control the default input and output for individual applications just like this. Right now my recording software Camtasia is turned on and system sound is there. So right now the default input and output that is, it is working around with the master input and output. But if you want to assign individual recording devices to each of the application, then you can do this as well. So now if you want to go to the traditional uh, sound editing panel, you can actually go over here on to sound control panel. So relate on the related settings, you can see there's sound control panel. So if you were to actually go over here on the sound control panel, you'll be able to see this. So the playback devices are all the speakers. So I don't have any headphones plugged in, but if you are to plug it in, you can actually see this. So once you plug in or if it is not enabled, you'll be able to see this right now. Only my USB device is actually turned on. So what I can do is I can right click anywhere. I can disable a device right here or enable a device right now. It's not plugged in, so it's not enabled. I can disable or enable each of the devices. If I disable, then they won't work out. Let me just uh, go over here. And if you were to uh, click on an empty spot on the corner, you can see that 
it has an option to show the disabled devices if i were to check that off the disabled devices will be turned off so let's say if i were to disable all of these right over here disable all of these they are hidden so Sometimes what might happen is that you might not see any uh, sound devices and that may be the reason because they are disabled. And if you were to see uh, so disconnected devices, then it'll show up the disconnected devices right over here. So everything is disabled. If I were to enable any one of them, like let's say the he headphone, enable it, you can see that this is not plugged in. So everything is shown right here. Usually you want them to see that. So if you want to set up the properties, you can configure it. So you can configure it into surround sounds. As you can see right now, I'm using a stereo speaker. You can test it out. So you can test it out as well. You can press next and then you can work around with the settings right over here. So full brain speakers, I'm not, not going to do anything just like that because my, my speaker is already configured. You can also go to the properties of the speaker right here. You can see the type of the speaker right here. You can see its properties, but you don't need to go around there right now. You can work around with the levels. That is the level of volume uh, that the speaker has. And you can, you, if you want to add in some enhancement to uh, actually play back with music, you can actually enable all of this, like bass boost and everything right over here. And you can also do a preview to see how this sounds. So right now everything is disabled, but if I were to enable it, preview it, so you actually hear something different right over here. So you can go over here, virtual sound and everything, which helps you enhance the quality of the sound. You can also go to advanced settings right here, and this is the quality that you can select. This is the maximum quality that my speaker supports. So if you have um, studio range quality, then you can actually select that out as well. Maybe you got a better bit of system. You can test it out on how it sounds. Usually it is a good idea to leave it to high quality for better sound quality. And that's how you can test it. So you can also go to special sound right here, which actually helps you to improve the quality of your sound. That is, it enhances uh, the sound output. In my case, I'm going to not change anything. The other part is the recording right here. You can see that I have line recording going on right here and all of the recording devices are here. So just like in playback devices, you can actually go over here. You can right click over here and enable or disable the devices just like as you do on the play playback device. You can go on the line, go to properties right here. That's general. You can also enable listen. If you enable listen to device, and press apply, you'll be able to hear your microphone, that is your recorded device or your recording devices through your speaker itself. Uh, usually you don't, you only want to do this when you have headphones on or when you actually do have to listen to yourself speaking for some reason. Usually I like to turn this off. You, you can also control the level of the microphone right here. So uh, if your microphone is actually uh, recording, uh, uh, recording a very, uh, low volume sound you may want to increase this out just like this and you can also balance it out that is if you have a stereo microphone uh, you can choose whether to uh, lower down the volume of the left microphone or the right microphone in my case i'm not going to choose any of this because it'll disrupt my recording over here in advance you have the channel as well usually it's a good idea to set uh the recording uh, quality to same as that of speaker for most of the applications that is actually quite important right now it's two channels 16 bit 48 kilohertz as you can see that's the uh, quality that i'm at and if if you even if you were to go to my speaker and go here it's 16 bit 48 uh, thousand hertz itself that's the dvd quality that i'm recording the audio in then you can go to the sound. So this is the playback and the recording. And if you were to go to sound, there are different windows, default sounds, like let's say, for example, asterisk right here. So if you don't like the sound, you can actually choose different sort of sounds from over here, or you can change the sound overall. So you can choose a totally different sound like here. For example, instead of that sound, I chose the log of sound, test it out. So now you'll be having that sound, but usually you don't want to get confused. You can also browse for different sounds and then uh, assign your own sound as well if you want to, and you can save them out as your uh, sound, sounds just like that. But in my case, I do not want anything. I'm not gonna press apply. Then there's communication itself. So you can, uh, whenever uh, your Windows is trying to communicate uh, over telephone calls and everything. It, it lets you mute all the other sounds or reduce the 
uh, volume of other sound by 80. So if you're actually using a Skype call and everything else, then this will actually get into play. So if you want to mute all other sounds while you're, while you're conversing, then uh, you might want to turn this out. But if you were to uh, just reduce their volume, then you select this just like this. Mine is set to reduce by 80%, so that's it. So that is how I'm not going to press apply because I'm not going to change anything. And that is how you can actually work around with the sound settings in Microsoft Windows. So that's how you can do this. So there are some other options as well, but we're not going to see them right now. These are the basic settings that you should know. And sometimes when your audio doesn't work, it may just be that your audio is disabled for some reason. So you can see this sound settings too. Uh, solve out all the problem. So if you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe